Hello guys, it's Miglef back again and here we have a long uh, awaited video for you and it's the interview with the community manager at DECA, which is Athalos. You can say hi. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yeah, so I reached out to you guys in the community on Reddit, on uh, my Discord and on some other platforms if you had any questions for Athalos and we got a bunch of them. Uh, so we'll just start off by uh, maybe you introducing yourself. Uh, who are you? Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm Akalos, <laughs> as you just mentioned. Uh, I'm working at DECA for like over one year now, I think. Yeah, one year and like two or three months. Um, I'm currently the only uh, community manager on Realm of the Mad God. I mean, most of you people probably know Wotan and that he left. Um, so I took over that. Uh, I have, I think, around six years of experience in the gaming industry. I worked on uh, bigger MMORPGs uh, as a product manager and as a community manager. And I'm now here again as a community manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you play any games on your free time? Oh yeah, pretty much all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, surprisingly, but I will answer this, but yes, but surprisingly, on the other note, uh, a lot of people working in gaming actually do not play games, mm -hmm. at least in, the, in, in, in departments like finance, legal, I, you really, really often have people who have no clue about gaming, <laughs> uh, which is fun. Uh, but I mean, in their position, they probably don't have to know so much stuff. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm really, really addicted to Path of Exile. Um, it's one of my favorite games. I played this, I think, of like 40 14k or something hours in, in oh. Path of Exile. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's a lot, yeah. Uh, same with World of Warcraft. Not that much currently, but but also very addicted to, to World of Warcraft. Uh, in general, MMORPGs, I pretty much try out everything new that comes out. Uh, my And my all-time favorite game when it comes to that is Guild Wars 1. Um, if some people remember that time. Now that Guild Wars 2 is out. But yeah, mm. everything that is MMORPG related, I usually play and, and try out. Yeah. D do you think that helps you in a community manager role, playing different games and uh, playing a lot of games? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it depends because I can see okay. both sides. Because, I mean, there are situations where, where I think, uh, well, yeah, where I believe really have the same reaction as you guys in the community about some decisions from us. Mm. Um, so I, I I know how the other side is as well. Um, I think it really helps with the MMORPG uh, thingy because yeah. Realm w has pretty much the same monetization I haven't worked on before and, and stuff like this. So yeah, it, it helps for sure. Like if I would just play shooters all day, I probably wouldn't be as efficient as I am <laughs> in some, some scenarios. So yeah, yeah, it helps. Yeah. Uh, how um, how has it changed since Wotan left? Have, have you had more to do? Uh... And is it uh, <laughs> is it more fun to be alone, or was to a good number? Um, it is definitely more fun to be alone because you have to, you have the power to do, do more stuff without like syncing with, mm. with anybody else on it. Uh, at the same time, it's like my my work pretty much tripled with taking over realm. <laughs> yeah, um, it's. It's a lot. Uh, I b before I took over Realm, I did a split of 50/50. I, I was 50% uh, community manager for our other game, which is um, Celtic Heroes, which mm. we purchased like one year ago, uh, and uh, then 50% Realm of the Mad God. By, but I just did like text writing and stuff like this. Um, so taking over definitely was hard because I had to learn the game a little bit more and stuff like this. Um, but but the future seekers, for example, helped me a lot with that. Um, I, I watched a lot of videos from all you content creators uh, mm. on how to get better at the game because I, I I believe that you have to actively play the game as a community manager to actually understand what the issue is with the yeah. with the game. Um, but yeah, it's it's way more work, but it's also way more fun um, just mm. because you you just have more stuff to do. Yeah. Uh, so some personal questions we got from some um, in. Some people in the community. Okay, which side are you on, cats or dogs? Ah, uh, definitely dogs. Um, I already uh, have to say it's sorry if you can hear her, my, uh, hear my dog <laughs> in the background because she every time I start speaking English, yeah, she goes crazy. I'm not sure why. She <laughs> wants to play. She wants to cuddle. It's only if I speak English. If, if yeah. it's German, that there's no problem. Okay. Um, but yeah, de definitely dogs because I'm allergic to cats. So yeah. Mm. Uh, 
uh, we talked about it a little bit, but what's your top three games that you would recommend besides SWATMG? Guild was one uh, on the first place if you never played it and you just like MMORPGs and uh, single player experience nowadays in it. Um, Path of Exile for sure. And oh, top three. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, can uh, usually be, I would recommend... it, it can be a board game. Doesn't have to be a oh then then D and D yeah D and D okay. D and D just not in the current situation that we have with uh, Wizard of the Coast but yeah okay. uh, this comment was fully on my from from private experience and not from my company point of view <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but uh, we also had questions what other games do you manage apart from Realm it was you you mentioned it. Yeah, so uh, depends. Only at DECA or be before as well? Uh, on, I'm not sure if... on DECA, at DECA now. Okay, DECA now, only Realm right now. I I, okay. I, I, I did the uh, uh, takeover transition for Celtic Heroes when we purchased this. Mm -hmm. And then Wotan left and the decision was pretty much to have me full-time on, on Realm because it just made more sense and have another CM on, on Celtic Heroes. Yeah. So, we have some questions uh, about the game, which is the main part of this interview. So I'll just start off with the first question. Uh, why hasn't the Realmai gotten new responses for alternate weapons and all of the UTs? Uh, pretty simple answer here, I think. <laughs> um, nobody, nobody requested it internally. Um, so I, I can do that. At the same time, I do not want to get people's hopes up and they, they think at the end that it will be in the next patch. I don't think this has any priority, obviously, for mm. us. This is something small and nice to have but uh, there's other things that would have a higher priority but i i can ask for it and we can have a look mm -hmm. and i i gotta say this in this interview like everything you say is not guaranteed to come or like yeah. anything everything it's not it's not set in stone uh so it's exactly. all up for discussion <laughs> or yeah um, yeah okay uh got a question here why don't you uh, Deca, just ask the Embracer group for funding and some more help for engineers for technical stuff like the Bolt bug and other major bugs. Uh, I, I cannot really answer the, the funding part because I am I have no, no connection to, to finance yeah. or anything like this. Um, this would be a question for Embracer, not for Deca. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but it's not like Embracer leaves us alone with this. The, the thing about just uh, taking somebody from Embracer for, or uh, one of the other studios that we have uh, in, the, in the Embracer group, they, they do not have any experience with RAM and the RAM code. Mm. Um, so if you <laughs> if you just bring in 10 developers, they will need <laughs> weeks or months to, to even understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, we actually, as we announced back then, we, we had people and we actually hired and paid people outside of the company who had RAM experience, obviously, mm. else they could would not be able to help us. So we did that. And I think right now we, at least I didn't see any reports anymore about the Vault issue. We have no support tickets, I think, about this or barely any. And also internally, we had uh, people who were able to reproduce it all the time. Mm. Uh, and they are not no longer able to reproduce it. So I, I hope it's fixed and, and everything is good there. But but yeah. yeah. I, Actually, I, I just a quick uh, sorry to everybody from <laughs> from from me and pretty yeah pretty much from me and the rest of the company that it took so long, and at the same time that the communication on it was so bad, because when when the, I can be open about that I guess um, when the world bug uh, happened uh, or started, it was really just a handful of people, and we really believed okay that this barely impacting anyone. We don't have to to like make a big thing out of it. Uh, which was a really bad decision. Um, so sorry for that. Um, I, I, I hope at the end we, we save this a little bit with more communication about it. But but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I haven't heard uh, anything on Reddit and in the community now for the recent uh, months from the Vault Bug. I haven't heard anything about it. So maybe it's fixed. Yeah, it, it was a really, really terrible issue to, to fix and even to, to work out what, what the problem is. Uh, like mm. The devs were really, really working on this the whole day, pretty much for weeks. Yeah. Um, so, and it, obviously nobody in the company liked this. This is a thing because uh, if, if players can just randomly lose all their endgame items, yeah. that's obviously bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I, I just hope it never, never comes back again. <laughs> yeah. Um, got some question here about... Um 
Let's, uh, let's see. The, the anti-bot captcha achieved absolutely nothing. This is not my words, this is the question. <laughs> um, the bots came back and Deca hasn't done a single thing against them except Akalos supposedly banning them personally from time to time. Will there be more and more effective actions taken against them? And can the bug where you can see their messages despite blocking them be finally fixed? So absolutely nothing uh, is, is not correct. Uh, we can see in the data that it's way less than what we had before. Um, the problem is they obviously found a way around the capture, otherwise they wouldn't be there. Um, but yeah, we are still working on it, but it's not like the biggest priority right now because you, you always have to see that the game is not like... You, you cannot have all resources on one issue, obviously. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's not only me who's uh, banning them from time to time. I think everybody from the from the admins who logs in and sees them just gets rid of them. Um, but yeah, uh, it's definitely less than it was before. It's still not ideal, and we, we will work on that. Uh, the bug about uh, messages, uh, like seeing them even yeah. though they are blocked. I personally did not hear about this yet. This, this is the first time okay. for me. Uh, but we are already. Uh, I, uh, from, from what I can see in, in my document right now, <laughs> mm. uh, we already have a, have a ticket for this to investigate and see what actually the issue is with that, because mm. there needs to be a way to reproduce this, and if we can reproduce it, we can fix it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I've heard similar uh, games like RuneScape have had the same issues with the bots coming in and going around the producers. Like everything they do, they just work around them and yeah. it's pretty hard you, to counter you have just the same problem in games like path of exile where, where they're in the chat it's mm. it, it's really not that easy because it's so easy to to set up like automated stuff like this for, for people who really want to bypass um, like stuff like this mm -hmm. it's like uh, I, I also see a lot of people saying we, we really need an anti-cheat and stuff like this but it's really not that simple and a lot of anti-cheat is also very aggressive on what they actually read on your computer mm. which is also then not that good with a community yeah. um i like i just remember stuff like uh, riots vanguard system and stuff like this where a lot of people questioned what it actually reads out from your computer mm. um so it's i mean at the end probably nothing nothing crucial otherwise there would be <laughs> yeah a big fire already uh, yeah. but but you never know so <laughs> definitely something that we have to think about and then see in the future yeah uh, next question is actually uh like i i would personally ask this uh rotem g merch uh, there's so much possible uh, possible merch like plushies for example imagine a spooky boy plush a high quality items replicas and a craig body pillow uh <laughs> <laughs> i need a craig body pillow uh <laughs> yeah we, we actually had this topic um i think I'm not sure how many people are aware of this about Aimsa also leaving Decker uh, several months ago, mm. uh, who obviously wa wa was in a lead position. Um, so we had this topic with him already. I don't, at least from what I know, it's not possible because of refund and return services. This mm. has to be done manually by the company. And right now, Decker it does not, it's not in a position to do that. Um, I mean, this might change in the future. Maybe there's a I don't know a website we can hook up with but right now this is nobody's looking into that mm. i think um, i i think there would be uh high demand because uh, realm is a game that's very near a lot of people's hearts and uh anything yeah. that would be in real life connected to realm i think people would like that yeah i mean the thing is my uh well that they're the german in me came out. <laughs> uh, the thing about stuff like this is always that uh, at the at the start of you if you launch something like this obviously a lot of people will buy into it but you also have to uh, kind of maintain it which is mm. also like it, it also costs money yeah uh, you have to take you have, you have to have somebody who takes care of this um but yeah i personally would like to see it in the future i cannot guarantee anything mm. but Maybe later this year we can can have a look again if there's there's something mm -hmm. that we could do technically. Yeah. Um, got a question here about a very specific question. <laughs> Will shattered queen mystic skin ever be obtainable in other way than Shat's leaderboards? Currently, no plan for this. Um, maybe in the future, but nothing I could promise. Mm -hmm. how, how do you see, like, when releasing a very exclusive skin? Um, do you see it as something beneficial of releasing a very 
and highly exclusive skin that only some people will get? Or, like, do you see um, you releasing a skin uh, maybe for a limited time, but then will be available for people at a later time? Ah, uh, mainly question more for the salespeople. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm not I'm I'm not sure personally. I I like to have uh, like stuff that you really can only get once, mm. and then that's it because it's very exclusive. And I think in a game like Realm, exclusive stuff is is interesting at least for the veterans and the people who really push for it, mm. because they can show yeah, I took part <clears throat> in this and that. Yeah. At the same time, as you can see, like with the with the Sulfur's Wetlands a speed run that really really went bad because of exploiting and stuff like this. Mm. Uh, that sometimes it's maybe not that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. I, I I think it's fine to have to to at least like if you have an exclusive skin in an event. I think it's fine to reuse that skin later for another event. Maybe that mm. is also a little bit harder. Mm. But I personally, <clears throat> from just from a community <laughs> manager point of view, I don't think that it would be right to have an exclusive skin and then sell sell it later mm. if it was an event skin, for example. Yeah. But not up to me. So yeah. Uh, got a question here. Why has quality control or updates been so bad this year in contrast to previous years? Maybe I can translate the question is have the quality control been uh, like worse this year than previous years? Uh, I personally don't think so. I, I know players uh, will probably disagree with this, but I, I also as a CM, I'm, I'm relatively close with the QA part and I have to see what they do as well mm. uh, at least on the paper and um, most issues that we had this year which were well world issue which was Q8 <laughs> mm. um, and also a seasonal character release um, and yeah, mainly seasonal character release uh, and then the missions feature um, they worked on, on, on PT uh, we had players test this and it never came up um, stuff like seasonal characters when we released this it was mainly the server load which it just couldn't handle uh, mm. which is something we sadly right now cannot test because we do not have the masses uh, that we have on the live uh, environment that we have uh, like we, we don't have that on the, uh, the, the public testing servers mm. um, so we we never really saw this issue which is bad i but yeah, there's not that much we can do about it. I personally think we actually did some stuff right. Uh, in the past, we had like the really big updates where we would release all features in one. Uh, we this time we decided to do the seasonal characters without missions. Yeah. So we we don't release two features that might break on live environment. Mm -hmm. um, so we we only had one to 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 kill one fire, not two, which I yeah. think is good. But obviously for players, this is. And also as a company, like this is the worst thing that can happen. If we release a new feature, it breaks. Like every every player is upset. Obviously, mm. everybody in the in the company is upset because we, <laughs> we, we would also like to have a, a like a, like a patch without any issues. Yeah. Like uh, if I have a calm week and I can report <laughs> in my my weekly reporting and I can say calm week, nothing major happened. That's the best week I can have. Yeah. Like everybody in the company then is happy. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's not like we we wish for this or ask for this, but yeah, we have a big QA team. They try their best, but some stuff sadly we just cannot see until it's on live. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, then I can continue with a question that's probably related to this: uh, Is the testing sessions actually working? Are you getting enough feedback uh, feedback uh, on the patches? Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is for sure is working. Uh, obviously, we would like to have more people in there, but at the same time, a lot of people do not care about testing. They want to play it on live. Mm. Um, so I think that that's good. But, but yeah, the testing sessions are helping a lot. Um, they, they help a lot with, with catching issues uh, that we might not be able to catch before. Of that. Mm. Um, it Sometimes stuff slips, uh, and also our future secret team is, is testing a lot of stuff, uh, and, and they're reporting a lot of things. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that's really, really good for the company. As yeah. I said, the more feedback we get, the better. Uh, and sometimes the feedback is also not like usable. <laughs> yeah. Um, the to like uh, fa fair feedback on features is always great, but like toxic stuff we just cannot work mm. with because it's yeah, nothing you can do with that feedback. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have any planned upcoming dungeons? Now we have gotten the Moonlight Village on testing. Um, so is, the, is there anything more coming up? No. 
Uh, like well, not no to no dungeons in the future, <laughs> but right now there's there's nothing we I I can comment on on for, for upcoming playable content for, for obvious reasons. Moonlight Village is, is one of them because we have it on testing. Yeah. Um, so this this one is coming. <laughs> yeah. But I I cannot comment on on anything. Uh, no. Anything different? Uh, yeah. One of my my. Oh, well. So with that question, this also came. Uh, what's your opinion uh, on the Steamworks and Wetlands? Yeah, I, I think both both dungeons are a great fit for for Ren right now. Wetlands perfectly uh, fits into like the the mid game progression of the of the game. I think, um, if you can call it like that. And Steamworks personally, for for what I've played so far in the game and how much I played, one of my favorite dungeons. I think uh, mm. just just overall fun. The release wasn't that again. <laughs> the release wasn't that great with, with the issues of the the end boss not working and stuff like this. Mm. Um, but but overall, I think it's a it's a great addition to the game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, any plans for any new st status effects? We've got an example here uh, of different variants, and I think that that would be something really cool to get because I think it was a while ago since we got um, a new status effect in the game. Yeah, the, the the design team answered that for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, they they are aware of the problems with the current status effects system and how it works and w what we have. Mm -hmm. Um, but they c cannot guarantee anything on this right right now. Um, mm -hmm. but, well, we, we cannot guarantee that it will happen soon. I think, but it's it is on the blade. Like they are thinking about it and they're looking at it. Yep. But Nothing in the very near future. But mm -hmm. definitely, in, like, yeah, at at some point probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, are there any plans to rework other classes this year, like uh, we saw for the Sorcerer and Assassin last year? No. No? Not right now. Hmm? Maybe in the future, but for short or midterm planning right now, no. Okay. So we've got a question here uh, about the state of UGC and community suggestions. Uh, and that's user-generated content. And what is it with the lack of... A developer communication yeah but the first part i think uh what the status um I, I i'm not sure what exactly it refers to because everything that that players suggest or post as feedback is usually reviewed either mm. by me or by the team when i send it to them or by the a lot of designers actually read the discord and stuff like this so people see it and mm. they talk about it uh Unfortunately, a lot of feedback that we get is just not usable, just because how the game is monetized, uh, stuff like mm. this, how how we how the roadmap looks, and stuff. Like that. There, there are some really cool ideas, but uh, you you also have to look at how much work would it be to implement something like this. How many people would you need from the designers and the developers to to build this, and uh, how much would it actually impact the the overall game, um, which often is not not good enough, pro pretty much. Um, doesn't mean that we ignore everything. I, I constantly get this feedback about uh, every time we release anything, it's like nobody asked for this, but at the same time, yeah, people ask for this. Yeah. It's like uh, the same with Battle Pass when it released and it was a little bit broken and overtuned. People mm. were like, nobody wanted a Battle Pass, which is not true because the Battle we, Pass was yeah. also created because we've the community wanted. asked for a Battle Pass. Y yeah. Exactly. For a w um, very long time, we've asked for a Battle Pass. Yeah, which I. Yeah, when we released it, obviously, I think actually this was one of the times where I fully agreed on how we released something because it was overtuned, yeah. Mm. But we got the feedback from the community. We waited for one week to have our own data because it's you cannot just only listen to the people who are vocal about something. Yeah. You also have to have to have a look at how is your data looking at, mm. and, and then have to see what, what the real issue is. Then we, we fix this, and I pretty much think 95% percent of the people agreed that the, the, the new XP curve that we fixed uh, and put in uh, was fine. Mm -hmm. So I th think it comes to that, that's great. Uh, you, yeah, then to do the to the fan content, I would just answer this as well. Fan content right now is not reviewed, unfortunately. Uh, this will soon change, actually, because this is on me. Uh, mm -hmm. Previously, this was handled by somebody else who's not with Decker anymore. Uh, is what re was reviewed on a different kind of scale, and the sheet itself is also not the way I want to have it set up. So I can already tease that, that in the very near future, the current fan content sheet on the website will be uh, replaced. Mm -hmm. um, and I will then announce when we uh, allow new entries, which is like 
every week or like every second week. Mm. Uh, it will be open for one, for seven days. Then I will close it and then we actually re review the content. Mm. Because right now there's stuff like from, from April last year in there. I do not know how up to date it is. I have no clue if somebody reviewed it already, stuff like this. Mm. Um, so this should should make it better for everybody, also the community, because after seven days you will pretty much know if your if your suggestion or your fan content will get into the game or not. Mm. So, um, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 not ideal. I'm very sorry for everybody who, who already sent in their stuff, but mm. yeah, it sadly is what it is. Mm. And with um, you, and with UGC, create the content we've gotten. I think I think all the three latest launches, including Moonlight Village, has had. UGC content in them, right? Yes. Yeah. So they, they are actively developing stuff and they are working on it, so yeah. Mm. Um, and th with that question, it was like, uh, but also what is with the lack of developer communication? Yeah, I, I, maybe somebody under the video, who, maybe the person who, who has this question uh, can, 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 can tell me what, what he means because. Yeah. Uh, like we never had developers answering stuff because they are not trained for this. If you have any questions that is developer related, you can always ask pretty much me and I will try to get you an answer if mm. this is something I can publicly answer. Mm. But uh, it, it's something I hear a lot also on the Discord that, that people think it's a little bit sad that there are not more designers or people from the event team in there. Um, mm. But people have to remember th those people are not paid to, to talk with you actively. They have their job to do, like they get yeah. paid to develop the game. Uh, and, and also not, not everybody is trained in how to communicate with players. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, may maybe if somebody can explain me what exactly is meant with, with this question, I can get it, go yeah. into more depth. Yeah. Um, are there plans to hire a second community manager like you had before with uh, Wotan and you? Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not in charge of something like this uh, no. or decision <laughs> like this. But, uh, but as far as I know right now, no, that's not a plan. Um, at least at a, what I can tell everybody is that uh, because we, we previously, when I went, went on vacation and stuff like this, or was sick, we had a problem that nobody was able to post some stuff mm -hmm. um, because access was missing or people well, they are just not on the Discord and, and have the rights to do it. Mm. Um, so uh, this problem will be fixed very soon. We have uh, CMs in different games and different departments who will, well, at least one person for, for Realm will uh, be trained f uh, by me uh, to, to know what what the person has to do in, in Realm in case I'm on vacation. Uh, they will not be able to like, go in like in-depth answers about questions, but they can, will be able to post like the news, uh, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If something is happening, they, they will be there. And the same for me, I will also help out with another game there. But only if the, that person's on vacation, and yeah. then I just post post the stuff. So that will not really change anything work dynamic wise. So yeah, yeah. Got a question here about exaltations. Uh, are there any plans to speeding up the exaltation system? You've already done it with attack and wisdom. Can we expect to see this with other stats? Uh, it's not currently bland, um, but it's also not discarded uh, at all. Um, Right now, we just have other features and, and things we want to do first. Yeah. Um, but it's like the above, what we just said before, that it's, it's not from the table. So it it is on our blade, but just not now. Yeah. I I think that the added attack exaltation in uh, Shatters really helped out and uh, just speeding up exaltation there because compared to the old Shatters, which took maybe three and a half minutes, um, the new one took a really long time, so getting to exaltation yeah. there is uh, really good. Um, any plans to use the official Rotom G YouTube channel or Twitch channel in the future? If if there's enough feedback for it, maybe. Uh, personally, I'm I'm not a big fan of, of Twitch of live streams from us, uh, just because I do not see the value as as, as harsh as that sounds. Mm. Um, but but live streaming over one hour of my work time in the evening to like 100 people, I just don't see the value out of it. Um, I, I would prefer to just jump into the game and have fun with, with people there, mm. which I from time to time do. Mm. Uh, at the same time, I think if we have something really big coming up, something that, that might not have been on, on public testing yet, for example, that we can show off in live stream, that would be cool. Yeah. And, then I, and then I would probably do it. Mm. Uh, but for anything else, like I, I don't mind joining like content creator streams or anything if they ask me. Uh, 
in the future, but mm. doing out the realm, realm part, I'm, I'm not sure about it. Yeah. Uh, for the YouTube channel, hopefully, <laughs> in the near future, uh, trailer again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I think, uh, uh, I'm not sure if I want to want to miss and forget my coins, but uh, vindication. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, uh, I'm getting here some flashbacks yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, okay. um, but obviously, with a better quality and and yeah. I uh, I, I, I guess I guess that time was a, a bit stressful time. That was a terrible time because at this, this at that time I didn't even like I I wasn't fully on realm and no. I had to deal with it as well because I, I I can openly say that I didn't see the trailer I should have seen it and I should have watched it because it was posted internally mm. but I didn't comment on it because I had other stuff to do for the other game yeah um, so yeah it it was really unfortunate um, it shouldn't have happened it shouldn't have been live it was re really embarrassing yeah but I, I, right now I'm just making fun of it as well yeah. because it's just. Yeah, there's I, nothing else you can do no, 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 not really yeah uh what will happen to janus and court of Orcs dungeons will they be moved to the realm uh it's, it currently is an ongoing internal discussion in the design team i think mm. um they, they want to, to change the access uh, to the oryx route eventually um but there there's no like uh like plan right now in, in place like they are mm. not sure yet but we would like to have it differently as well yeah yeah just uh, just an idea popped up in my head right now uh, having janus as an event uh quest uh would be pretty cool in the realm getting access to the court of orcs dungeons there yeah, yeah. i mean I, might make, maybe make sense because i, I mean I, I know how it is when you <laughs> when you go in there then you need something from janus at, at this time but you also that, want to do <laughs> you, maybe you want to do o3 and yeah you have to yeah, choose it's, yeah it's not ideal but but yeah, yeah. obviously we, we will have a look into it and they're thinking about it just not like concrete plans yet yeah uh why have events been in to a point that they are now constantly and what do you think this does for the long-term health of the game <laughs> I, i'm not sure if maybe i might know <laughs> who, who asked this question uh, it's, it's actually something I, i'm not sure why a lot of people or like some people still believe that a lot of events are hurting hurting a game because people get oversaturated it's not the case mm. uh the, the, the data pretty much for all the kinds of games i ever worked on show that people do not get burnt out that way mm. uh, there are some people who, who get burnt out obviously but you also reactivate way more people again with with interesting events mm. um, so i think th that's just something we we have to do at this point um, personally i don't think that the events are uh, anything bad i'm not a fan of the what, what we previously did or like last year a lot was the uh, just have a chest event every week that's it yeah i think having the, the, the stuff like oryx mania was really cool the sub-zero event mm. uh, the event that's starting or started today yeah actually, we, we got a new it. event yeah i'm gonna cover it probably tonight <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think stuff like this is great like g yeah. give every player something to do and something to enjoy and then like until we have a new patch and new content and stuff like this mm. i think that that's, that's important I think we just have to work a little bit more on uh, what kind of chest event, uh, what kind of event in game, because it's repeating itself a lot. Uh, some yeah. people do not want to see the same dungeon again, and again. Um, so there's definitely something to improve. Also with with stuff from my side, like the communication on the the loot chest, like the, the drops and stuff like this, is not that ideal. Um, which is actually I can I can teaser something, yay! Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because right right now we only post the the, the loot uh, in chess, from chess uh, events in the Discord, mm -hmm. um, which is something that I wasn't a friend of for, for a long time. Uh, and we some months ago we had a discussion, or I had a discussion with one of our producers about improvements to our launcher, uh, and they. Probably, I cannot guarantee it. We probably uh, will have a launcher update next week, okay. uh, which will not be the greatest thing ever, but it will address <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff and issues we had with the launcher in the past, like memory usage. We have a lot of people who reported that the, the launcher is eating up their CPU and and, um, and RAM and stuff like this, uh, which at least from what we see is pretty much fixed. Uh, mm -hmm. But another thing that we, uh, we fixed is that we can finally implement uh, assets into news mm. 
mm-hmm. which means right now, which <laughs> a lot of people probably know if they read the, the news in the launcher is we have the news, you go in there and then you have a link to our blog mm. uh, at the end because we cannot show like tables or or any kind of, of pictures right now. Yeah. This is now fixed. Uh, and with the new launcher, we actually can do that, which means all this, the stuff like loot and, and things like this, I can actually yeah. just publish on the launcher, which I think is great yeah. because not everybody wants to have a look at uh, the Discord every day. <laughs> mm. Yeah, or they, or they can watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, you you probably don't do a, a video for every every uh, loot. No, loot I, uh, chest, uh, I, uh, I, I I did that some uh, two, like two years ago. It was very many videos, and I think it was during most of the Mad God. The videos got to like two minute two minutes each, and yeah, it di- it didn't do anything for the channel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I just want to make it more accessible for yeah. people to to see information. I, yeah. I, doesn't mean I don't like our Discord. I love our Discord and I love the Discord team because mm. they're doing an amazing job. Um, but yeah, t- t- not everybody likes Discord, I guess. Yeah. Um, were weapon modifiers scrapped or are there, uh, they still coming to the game at some point? I think this is on the to- in the top three of questions I get asked weekly and I never yeah, answer. I-, I think this uh, is the top three questions <laughs> I'm getting asked. I... It will be a very short answer. It's definitely in the plan. Mm. It's not scrap. Okay. I, I have no time frame for it. Yeah. But it's planned. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um, what is being planned for guilds? An update to guilds is arguably the most overdue thing in the game. We need more roles, more options for upgrades and things to do in the guild hall specifically. Yeah, we, we agree on that. The The problem is it right now it doesn't have a high priority, at least not one of the higher priorities. It's not like like as of the things above that we, we talked about. It's we, we plan to have something in the future for guilds, uh, but just not right now. We have we have other priorities on on other features because all those those kinds of features, they take a lot of t- uh, time. They do a lot of planning. They need a lot of development time. You have to, to build the whole UI and stuff like this. Um, but yeah, I, I hope in the future we have a little bit more uh, for guilds because right now there's really, really anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and and maybe it also helps with one of the constant feedbacks we get about uh, Discord runs and uh, the feedback surrounding that one. Um, but yeah, I, I hope in the future we can do something more bigger, but definitely other other things have priority right now in, yeah. the, in the near future. Yeah. Um, anything new about a PP game mode? The community wanted this, where you had no time limit, like seasonality and general PP rules. And he lists the general PP rules. Uh, no trading at all, able to only see your own bags um, and a different vault than the normal one. Yeah, I, th- <laughs> I think there's a lot of misinformation in the community or i think they believe that the season uh, uh, the seasons would be something else and they would be a pp mode mm. this is not the case we we right now we do not have a plan to have a dedicated pp mode um what we want to do in the future is or, and th- that's the plan with seasonality at itself th- to have a uh, different kind of rule sets for the seasonality mm. so the, the goal is to have for example have in the future have a rule that you cannot trade at all that's the rule mm. um you Stuff like this to, to just limit it, but there's currently no plan for a dedicated PvE mode. Um, I personally I wouldn't mind having it, but at the same time, looking at uh, how many problems we had with seasonality and season seasons at its own, it's I, I think it's unlikely at uh, at the moment at least with the structure the game has. Um, but yeah, I, I think with the seasonality rule set, it might be uh, might be a little bit different. Mm-hmm. And that was all the questions I had. Uh, do you have anything more to add? S- some more, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, rumors or uh, teasing? I'll s- s- certainly not that much. <laughs> no. uh, just the launch, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but but uh, no, no, just some words from, from me in general, um, because I, I took over like six or seven months ago for, for mm. Rare Ride. And th- there was actually, I think, a question that also had the with the second CM hired, right? Uh, if we had plans for that. Mm. Um, it was actually a comment that uh, the person thinks that the communication actually lags now or, or dropped down in quality. Mm. And this is something maybe for the people who, who are still listening to this in my <laughs> voice uh, to, to, to tell me what they think in the, in the comments or anywhere. I don't mm. really mind. Uh, 
uh, what they think and what would they would like to see because i from my personal point of view it, the communication increased and it is better mm. um the, the the stuff i do is just different uh i think i'm, I'm way more active uh, with some kind of things if i'm not on vacation mm. um because the focus is now differently but yeah there, there's no like developer friday where we give, give insight into this which would be great in the future maybe again Mm. But I think overall, I'm I'm way more active communication-wise, at least on on Discord. Oryxmus calendar w was mentioned, and this is the most embarrassing thing that yeah. ever happened to me <laughs> in my professional career. You have no clue how how bad I felt about this uh, for for several days, and I talked mm. with, with people internally about it as well. And everybody was like, "Yeah, come on, mm. happens." Uh, but it's was really bad. So sorry to the whole community for that. This mm. was just embar really embarrassing. It's, it shouldn't have happened. I I rushed something out mm. that shouldn't have. It's, it's like the trailer a little bit. It shouldn't have went yeah. out. Um, but yeah, everything else, I think, usually we are we are communicating more. Mm. But as I said, if, if, if players have any ideas that what they want to see, I'm, I'm open to everything. That yeah. is not, uh, please do a Twitch, uh, Twitch live stream to 50 people. That, that I won't do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but yeah. The, the, there is a feedback channel in the Discord, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can always write there. And you read that, right? Yes, we we read pretty much everything. Like, yeah, I, I can I can tell you guys from uh, from what my my daily work is. A lot of uh, of my daily work is actually reading stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and then reporting on it if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, you, some people might have already seen that having a look at the uh, seasonal vault unlocker, where we pretty much told everybody, yeah, sorry guys, you you won't get one uh, if you purchase one last season. We changed that because I actually forwarded all your guys feedback and it worked mm. so sometimes it, it does work sometimes it doesn't yeah Just always spam you with, with stuff and also at the same time i'm very sorry to the uh, 63 people i have not answered on discord yet <laughs> and with some very old messages because i get sometimes up to 100 uh, private messages on discord per day yeah um so if you get don't get an answer from me on anything you can always write me just write me again yeah, yeah. because i i might forget or if i see your message on sunday i won't reply because i'm not working on sundays D just write me again on monday yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah uh, everybody can just always contact me and i i hope this this little video here and the questions gave some some answers mm. to the community and the <laughs> availability to write to you is so much better uh, even if you don't get the reply than not being able to write to you at all it's like a very open way of communication, I think. Yeah, I, I will never close my, my DMs or anything on, on Discord. Uh, I'm sorry to the people who write me on Reddit, but I will not look at, at Reddit messages. Um, I, I know a lot of the community think that Reddit is the worst and they dislike the Reddit of Realm and they think it's super toxic. I tend to disagree with a lot of this. Uh, there, there's a lot of toxic stuff on Reddit because it's Reddit. It yeah. just, it's just so fun. It's it's how it is. <laughs> uh, but I also look at nearly every single post that is done on Reddit because you have to you have to have all the the, the, the sites on Discord. People are very positive with me. Um, on this uh, on on Reddit, they might not, and they actually say what they think, which mm -hmm. can also be very great. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. You, you, People can just contact me everywhere, and even if I don't answer, usually I read every uh, every DM. So yeah. if you send send me a, uh, any kind of feedback or a suggestion about the game, and I did not answer, you I can ninety five percent of the time guarantee that at least read it. I just didn't have the time at the moment to, to reply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think I got one final question to maybe sum this up. Uh, will Realm have a great twenty twenty three? I hope so. I. I I mean, I'm I'm aware of the things we have planned for now, at least mm. <laughs> for 2023. I think it it will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I I mean, against popular belief, we we plan long term with this game. Um, <laughs> otherwise, we we would have that many resources and that many people working on it. Um. So yeah, I I hope for a great year and that we can all achieve something cool together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for. Uh taking your time to answer some of the community's questions. Uh, it was great having you. Yeah, no problem, nothing. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Maybe maybe the developers or any other uh, person at Deca maybe wants to come on and get their share of questions, maybe. 
I can always ask, but as I said, yeah. they are not not trained in talking. So, yeah. so maybe some of some of the, some of the designers are. And they're very very good with the community. Maybe yeah. they are yeah. interested. Yeah. But yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this video. This took some time to uh, make. So if you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Write a comment down below what you thought of the questions. If you have any more questions for Akalos, I can maybe do this one more time in the future. See you later. Bye bye.